Now, the battery life in the M1 MacBooks, especially the M1 MacBook Air, is already very, very good. I'm getting on average at least 15 hours of just light use on a single charge, so I have absolutely no issues with the battery. Now, whenever I go traveling, I usually take my MacBook with me, and if I'm gonna be on a plane or at an airport or somewhere where there's no power outlet, I think it'd be a really cool thing to be able to charge my MacBook from a portable battery. Now, a couple of months ago, I actually upgraded my aging battery to one of the new Anchor ones. And so after a bunch of research, I ended up settling on the Anchor PowerCore 3 10,000 milliamp battery, which also had USB-C power delivery or USB-C PD. Now, power delivery is a really cool thing and has only really become mainstream in the last few years. And it actually lets you charge devices like a laptop from a small portable battery. So the question I wanted to answer, and that I'm sure you want answered as well, is can you charge the new M1 MacBooks using a USB-C PD external battery? So let's find out, shall we? Okay, so here we have the brand new M1 MacBook Air, and I also have the M1 MacBook Pro, which we will test second. And as you can see here, we have the Anker 10,000 milliamp battery, and we just have the standard charger that comes with all of the Macs. So what we'll do first is we'll just get rid of this power brick. We're not gonna need that. And we're actually just going to directly plug the power bank into the same USB-C cable that actually came with the MacBook Air. And now if we plug this into the USB-C port on the MacBook Air, And I'll actually reposition the camera now so you can get a better look. So as you guys can see here, it definitely does work. At the moment, it's not charging the battery. It's just acting as power. But as you can see there, it's just changed so that it is actually now charging. Now this is only an 18 watt output. So it's not quite as powerful as the 60 watt charger that comes with the MacBook Air. Uh, but as you can see there, it is charging but it will obviously charge a lot slower than the wall adapter that comes with the MacBook. So after a few minutes, this will actually update and it will show you how long it's gonna to take to charge the battery to 100%. Now, as you can see there, we only have 62% of battery, so it's only just over half a charge and it's gonna take about two and a half hours for that to charge fully, which to be honest, guys, is a pretty good achievement for such a small external battery. Now, the aim of this external battery is not to fully charge your laptop. It's just not gonna do that. I mean, technically it can, but that's not gonna be the use. It's going to be to actually extend the battery life of your Mac. So for example, if you're at a cafe doing work or you're at school and you forgot to charge your laptop the night before, you can actually plug in your external battery and that will extend the life of your MacBook battery for a long time. So what we'll do now guys is I'll plug it into the M1 MacBook Pro and we'll see if we have the same result. Okay, so we have the exact same setup as before. We have the Anker external battery plugged in using the cable that came with the Mac. So we'll put the battery over to the side and we will plug in the external battery. There we go, so that's now plugged in. And you can see straight away, it says that it's not charging yet, it's just running off external power. Um, but as I said before, in a few minutes, this will update and we'll start to charge the MacBook. Okay guys, so it's been about two minutes since I plugged it in. And as you can see there, it's just changed to say that it is now charging. And we have a three hour and 12 minutes charge time, which makes sense because this does have a bigger battery than the MacBook Air. And so it's gonna take longer to charge. Okay guys, so I've swapped to the MacBook Air and what we're gonna do at this point is I'm actually gonna shut the screen of the MacBook Air to put it to sleep. And I'm also gonna plug in the external battery pack and we're gonna give it about 15 minutes to see how much charge we can get. And you guys can see there it is 11.20 p.m. and we're sitting at about 62% charge. So let's close the screen, put it to sleep and come back in about 15 minutes. Okay guys, so it's just been over about 15 minutes at this point. So let's open up the MacBook Air and let's see what the percentage is at for the battery. 
So as you can see there, we've gained about four or five percent battery in the last 15 minutes, actually more like 16 to 17 minutes at this point. So again, it's not gonna be super quick, but if you left this thing for a few hours, you could probably get a fairly significant charge. Now I'm only using a 10,000 milliamp hour battery and there are a lot bigger batteries out there such as a 20,000 milliamp one, which is gonna give you a lot of juice. So guys, in conclusion, I am pretty happy with that. Obviously, you're not going to get a super quick charge with this thing in. And if you're doing a lot of intensive tasks like editing or 3D modeling, you'll actually drain the battery quicker than it can charge. But again, the point isn't to use this particular device as an external power source all the time. It's just for things like emergencies or at the airport or if you forget to charge and you do have an external battery with you, you can use it as an emergency power source and it will work totally fine and in my opinion actually works pretty well. Now again guys, bear in mind you do need to have the USB PD version. So this is a USB C PD version, which means power delivery, which means this is going to output about 18 watts. And that's going to actually allow you to use this to charge your MacBook Air or your MacBook Pro. If you just have a normal USB battery pack, it's probably just not going to work at all. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. I have had a few people ask me about this particular topic. So hopefully this video sheds some light on that. But apart from that, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in the next one.